What's up? It's a great Monday morning in the warehouse. Gonna send a bunch of products to Amazon FBA today. If you're new, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 24 year old full time Amazon online arbitrage seller. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how you could find profitable products on a budget as a beginner using only one software. Let's get it. Here inside my screen now, and we can take a look at this product, which is a vitamin right here on Amazon. I'm going to go through a little bit of the basics here, but I am mainly going to be showing you just how you can start doing product research using just Selleramp right here. Now, Selleramp is a tool that I'm actually a part owner of, basically, and so what it does is it allows you to tell all the, basically, a lot of what you need to know about a specific product. So, uh, how quick it sells, so does it sell, if you can sell it, your eligibility within on gating, which if you're looking for how to get ungated, I have a video on my channel. You can search Phil's for Miles on gating to find how that works. And then is it profitable when the profit calculator within Selleramp? So we can see this item right here is $37 on Amazon right here. This is called the buy box, which you're seeing right here. So this is where you wanna be as a seller right here. And we can see over on this website, it's actually selling for $19.80 right here. So at $19.80, we can see that on the seller and profit calculator right here, we would make about $6 profit and a 32% return on our investment. Now, within the seller and profit calculator right here, this is after product cost, sales tax, even including shipping to Amazon, Amazon fees, all of that, what we would receive for this product right here because we would be shipping this product bulk to Amazon. And now something like this, we can see only weighs about two ounces and it's two by three by two so we can fit a bunch of these in a bulk box that we'd send to Amazon FBA right there. So I would definitely recommend using Selleramp and Keepa for your product research but if you're looking to just use and really get started with the budget you can just get started with just Selleramp which is $20 a month you can try it completely free at Selleramp.com. So um, basically the large function of Selleramp is the prop calculator right here as well as how we're going to use it to go ahead and find more profitable products right here. So immediately when i'm looking at seller amp here one you can move it around on your screen if you want to which a lot of people don't know that you can do but you can right here so i like having it over here on the right though um right there we see the prop calculator is the main thing um as well as just seeing the demand with the bsr right there bsr is the same thing as sales rank sales rank is how quick something sells on amazon the lower the better so for example a twenty thousand rank is in the top one percent of this specific category um, and we can see that pretty much anything that's sub like a 50k rank sells consistently. So a 20k rank sells about 900 times a month right here. And the number one ranked product probably sells like 10,000 or 30,000 times a month right here. So within Seller Amp, you're going to be using the prop calculator a lot. You can also click here and open it up in the web app right here as well and see kind of the data all laid out. We're going to talk about the other features here as well though. Um, we can scroll down and see some more um, advanced info on the ranks and price right here. I pulled a lot, a lot of that just from right up here though. On that, we can see the alerts in terms of whether we can sell this, um, whether it's private label, um, IP complaint history, multiple the size, as well as right here, we can see the Keepa chart. Now Keepa, K-E-E-P-A, is the other tool I do recommend you guys have. Now I have it, I use it every day. Um, you can get some of the Keepa data from, in terms of the Keepa chart, in terms of looking at just the seller amp keep a chart right here so we can scroll down and see okay how's it done over a week over a month over three months over a year etc right here and we can see the performance of the buy box the lowest fba seller the lowest fbm seller as well as the offer count otherwise known as the competition right here so we can see if we zoom in right here we can see uh back in may 2022 there were 68 sellers right if we do the three month view we can see there were 26 sellers in early january in uh, mid-March, there were 64, now it's all the way down to 41. And we can see since the competition's gone way down, the price has gone from 33, all the way back up to around $37 in the buy box, which can allow us to be profitable on this product right here. Down here, we can see a little bit more advanced profit calculator. Um, prop calculator is mainly looking at um, FBA pricing. You can click here to shift it to FBM though, right? Something like this. We can see on the dimensions, actually weighs only about two ounces right here. So say you were to sell this FBM, which I don't think you'd be able to looking at how many FBA sellers are selling this, at least super quick, would probably ship FBM for about uh, $5.50 right there. So that would leave us a pretty similar ROI. A lot of people think that the uh, price action is different FBA and FBM in terms of it actually cost something, but they're actually pretty similar because uh, when you sell FBA, you don't pay individual shipping because you ship product bulk to Amazon and, and you do pay FBA fees. And when you sell something FBM, 
you don't pay FBA fees, but you do pay individual shipping because you ship it directly to the customer. Um, so it basically ends up being the same thing within a couple percentage points. On that, now why do you mainly want to do FBA? One, because it scales better. Two, because Amazon's algorithm incentivizes FBA sellers and the buy blogs because they handle the customer experience when you FBA something. So it makes sense why you mainly want to be doing FBA right there, which is shipping products bulk to Amazon warehouses right there. Okay, so how we're gonna use Seller to actually go ahead and find more items is by going down here and taking a look at the offers right here, and then typically finding a seller with the decent amount of reviews right here, so like this guy has 100 um, reviews. Let's see, that seller has a ton of reviews right here. And so if they got like over 100 reviews, we know they're making money because they wouldn't be doing all this work if they weren't making money with it, right? So we can take a look and see, okay, this seller has, you know, 3,000 different items right here, or sorry, 3,000 reviews and 16,000 different items. This seller has 125 ratings and 175 ASINs. And now we can go ahead and actually look at all the different products they're selling right here and go through and open up ones that have uh, pretty good demand, right? Which is so looking at the BSR right here as well. And this is what's known as reverse sourcing where you look inside a seller's catalog, see what products they're selling and then go out and look for those products at profitable prices basically. So we can see the different brands the seller's carrying, the different categories they're carrying as well. Um, within their catalog and then we can scroll through and find products that have a pretty good demand right here and then go out and look for those items at profitable prices basically. So we can see, okay, this is an 8K BSR, so that looks great, so I'll take a look for that. We can open up that, 7K as well, looks pretty good right there. This is a similar brand. We can see looking at the Kiva chart, the price is nice and stable right there as well, so it's 19. We can take a look at that right there. Uh, another one right here is 74, 22. A lot of good uh, demand on these prices, uh, on these products right here, just looking at the BSRs. So a lot of the stuff I'm trying to sell on Amazon basically right here. So what I would do is go through these storefronts and open up all of these basically, mainly looking for ones that have stable or trending up price, like this one is decently looking at the Kiba chart. Um, I can see that the sales rank is that green uh, line right there. So we can open up that, and then we're gonna go out and basically just uh, find these items that we know are selling quick, that we know are being sold by similar sellers with a similar model to us, then we're gonna go out and look for those items at profitable prices basically right here. So we can see something like this right here, selling for 59, right? It's got pretty good demand, it's got a 26K BSR, and then we would go ahead and just look for this across the internet basically right here, and go ahead here, and obviously you gotta verify websites so Jay, you gotta look at their reviews, um, et cetera right there. We would just open up this and see here, we can buy 180 capsules of this for 37 right here. So 37 selling for 58, we would only make about an 8% ROI right there. And I also didn't make sure this was the right item. You always, always, always wanna check and very diligently make sure it's the right product right there as well. 120 capsules, 120 capsules, essential minerals. Yeah, see, so I think that's a uh, look definitely different right there. So it's not something I wanna be doing right there, no problem. Right, so basically that's uh, the gist of reverse sourcing and that you find items that you think might be doing well, right? And then you go out and look for those items across the internet basically on that. So we can check a look right there, see if this looks good. So there's probably some sort of coupon involved if that's gonna be retailing at around 36 right there. So I pass on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some reverse sourcing on my own and find a profitable product and I'll catch up with you guys once I have an example and show you how I found it right there. Check this out. So after a little bit of reverse sourcing, I found a profitable product by just looking in the stores of other sellers that were selling those listings we were just looking at right here. So check this out. So this Adidas sweatshirt right here, just looking at this, we can see this is a really common color. Um, you know, you've probably seen people wearing this or very similar items we can see on Amazon. It's got a 90K BSR, so it's not selling crazy quick, but there definitely is proven demand. Looking at that, there's about 500 reviews as well right here. On that, over here on Macy's, we can see it's the deal of the day. It's here for 20 bucks. It retails for 50, so that's a pretty big discount right there, right? And if we plug this in on Amazon, we can see if we're paying 20. Now, there's not a buy box, but the lowest price here is about 42, 43. And if we scroll down to the Keepa chart on Selleramp, we can see the price is pretty historically lowest FBA has been in like the 44 range right there, and we can see. 44 uh, range right there, right around that. So we would make about a 48% ROI after product cost, shipping to Amazon, um, everything like that, Amazon fees, et cetera, right there. And we can check as well, what's nice about clothing is something like this, there's also other sizes right here, right? So like, like an extra small, we can take a look at the value right here. 
We can see that there's no buy box as well right here. Lowest price is 44 as well, so we would make about nine bucks a piece and a good ROI right there. So on a size medium right here, we can see the lowest price is actually 45 as well. And we can go ahead here and take a look and see on the Keepa that the lowest price pretty consistently been in like the 58.99 range. Uh, looks like back in February it was right close to the 60 right there. So there's really good money um, on an item like this, and it's a C. It was on like a flash sale on Macy's right there, and it's legit just found reverse source using Celeran by looking inside the category the catalogs of successful sellers that we know have a similar business model to us, finding in-demand products, and then going out looking for those in-demand products across the internet. Basically, we can see 20 bucks on Macy's right here. It's looking like that's uh, the same photo right there, I believe, right there on uh, on that. So it's good money. Then we just found that using seller, but then you can use seller again to go down here find more items and reverse source from there. And that is exactly uh, my favorite beginner product research method is beginner sourcing right there. Um, that's how you can uh, really bootstrap things and do it with just one software. I do recommend definitely having Keep Up. You're gonna be in this long term. But in terms of just starting a budget, you can just uh, go ahead and use Seller Amp right there because you can get uh, the Keep It charts and then you can get all that info on can you sell it, does it sell, and is it profitable right there. So I appreciate you guys watching. Try out some of my other videos if you're interested and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.